everyone, welcome back to my channel and welcome to the Adrian Show if you're new. So in today's video, I'm going to show you guys how I colored this wig. I installed it so you guys can see how it looks. I am selling this wig. It is for sale. So if you guys are interested in purchasing, I'm going to link it down below on the website. It's probably going to go really fast because the custom color units go really fast. So the website is www.uniqueunitswithaz.com and it is for an unreasonably low price a lot of work went into this custom color but i love you guys so i am putting it on sale and it's going to come with free shipping as well so i'll link below so, so you guys can purchase that so after you guys see i'm going to show you guys the two different colors that i mainly focused on but in the end i ran out of dye and i went back and i got cotton candy and fruit punch from a door and i mixed those two and that's what i used to kind of like finish up the back and then just go over the hair a little bit so it has more of a contrast so I absolutely love it. This is from Ali Bell Hair Company. I'm going to list their information down below in the description box. I did go ahead and get the 613 hair so it could be so easy to achieve this color. And I'm going to list all the details that you guys need to know about the hair in the description box below. Don't forget, it is on sale. It is a part of the wig sale that I'm doing for you guys. So you can go ahead and just purchase it and follow the Unique Units Instagram page as well. So thank you guys so much for watching this video. Thank you for tuning in and I hope that you guys enjoyed enjoy this hair tutorial so to begin these are the two colors that I'm using pink petal and sweet mint from adore I have three pink petal and I have two sweet mint you need a lot more than that I ended up with about six uh, pink petals <laughs> so yeah I also sectioned the hair into parts because I knew that I wanted the very front to have two strands that were different than the rest of the dyeing pattern. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to get my dyeing brush, I have my black gloves on, and I'm the reason why the rest of the hair is clipped back is because I don't want the green dye to touch the rest of the hair because the rest of the hair in the front is going to be pink. So if you want to do this, you can. If you don't, you don't have to, but this is basically how I achieved it. I went ahead and I started and I dipped really lightly with my dye brush on the very very front of the hair and I just started to dye the um, the, the section that I clipped out um, in terms of blending what I do is I stop halfway and then I put the pink on because this strand is going to be green at the top pink at the bottom and then I use my finger to do a sliding motion to blend it you can also turn the dye brush sideways I do that as well but to really get the ombre you see what I'm doing here I'm sliding my fingers down so that the hair can kind of fade out the color because of my hand so when I put the pink on I'm going to do the same fading motion this really helps create an ombre and it creates a seamless look sometimes when you use the brush to blend in the colors the brush will not get every strand and I also comb it out with a fine tooth comb to make sure that every strand has the color on it I'm going to begin to start on the rest of the hair now you guys I could try to explain it as best as possible but I think it's just better for you guys to watch um, in order to dye a wig like this you have to start off in sections because you want to make sure that you're getting all of the hair um, I have a couple different techniques but it's really just better to watch uh, but I recommend doing it in sections and I also recommend having the hair parted already so you can kind of see exactly how you want it to lay
is pretty much what it looks like when I'm halfway through. As I told you guys, I kind of sort of ran out of dye. So I went and I got two other colors, uh, cotton candy and as well as fruit punch. And I mixed those together, which is why you guys are kind of seeing like the pink is getting a little bit deeper instead of that light, light pastel. But it works. Uh, so I just continue on with the same method. It's literally just parting it into certain sections, dyeing it, uh, using my fingers to slide up and down to blend the two colors, using a fine tooth comb to comb through the hair to make sure that everything is gotten. And yeah. <laughs> Once that's finished and I've washed the hair out with Tresemme's Color Treated um, Shampoo and Coconut Curls Conditioner, I'm going to blow dry the hair out, get it as uh, dry and straight as possible, and then I'm going to flat iron it to see how it looks curly because you want to make sure that you did a nice dye job. Um, if you straighten the hair, you'll get to see if your dye job was done well or not. Uh, sometimes people like to disguise custom colored wigs in curls because they know if you straighten it, it won't look um, blended.